challenges of external users. So first off, you know, what do I mean by that? So as companies are adopting the cloud, either for their employees or for external collaboration or various purposes, we kind of see a spectrum of identity scenarios here. One is that sort of core use case of enterprises adopting cloud and mobile and trying to manage user access for these cloud and mobile apps. The other is application, applications and products themselves. So companies may be building apps themselves that they're exposing externally, or they may be building SaaS applications. We you know, talk to software companies that are traditionally software companies that are going to the cloud, building a new SaaS application, and they need to think about authentication into that app. And so we can break this down a little bit further among enterprises. There's kind of employees, and how do you manage how employees access applications? and external users, like customers and partners. For employees, the problem is straightforward. There's a lot of companies that are kind of focusing on this problem today, where you've got a Active Directory, something like that, you've got some on-prem web applications, you've got employees that are, that are sort of you know, part of your company, they're all, this is kind of all the stuff you've got in-house. But then you're adopting these cloud apps that are outside of your control. Like, you don't manage those, you can't easily tie them to your on-prem environment. And so that's kind of the main problem that a lot of companies need to solve with identity. But then we get into these scenarios where you have users coming from outside the company. So it's not employees, it's customers, it's partners, it's maybe a distributor partner, or maybe the marketing team works with a marketing agency that they need to share documents with. And we find that a lot of companies are starting to use cloud applications for interacting and collaborating with these external users. They may be deploying a portal platform like SharePoint in order to do that, but they may not be. They may just be using applications like Box or Zendesk and giving these customers access to those applications. And so it's kind of a variety of different problems we're solving here, but generally it's that you've got users that are outside the company as well as these applications that are outside the company. And sometimes your customers come from larger companies as well and they have their own identity system. They've got an AD, they've got some kind of identity system, and they want to be able to just authenticate to their own system and access your applications. So tying all that together is a significant problem. Finally, over all the way on the end here, we kind of take that to the next level, and we have companies that are assembling a product or service from a variety of in-house apps they've built themselves and cloud applications. So we talk to SaaS providers that have a SaaS product that they've built, but in addition, they may be using something like Lithium or Jive as a customer community and building that functionality right into their product. So that way when you're using the product, it kind of, you could be using aspects of the community or you could be in the community and be using aspects of the product and the user would never know the difference. And that SaaS provider considers this whole thing to be their product. It's a very integrated user experience across all of these different siloed apps that actually make up the whole product. So for those companies, they need this like central way to get users into that app, to get c customers into that application, and to tie back and allow their customers to SSO into their product. That could be made up of all kinds of different things. SaaS, hosted, individual customer hosted pieces. There could be components that are on-prem. So it's kind of this heterogeneous environment. So when we break this down a little further into this external user problem, we kind of get, you know, Enterprises where the IT department is trying to manage this access and trying to figure out, okay, I've got you know, a marketing department that needs to collaborate with you know, their agencies, as I, as I kind of mentioned. How do I give those users access to company resources and company data? And then on the other end, you, you have this developer scenario where we're really looking for an identity layer. I mean, companies are building on AWS, they're building on, on uh, Azure, and they want a comprehensive functionality for identity to store passwords, securely store passwords, have it always be available, and not have to worry about securing that. So both of these are important use cases where users are coming from outside the company. Um, you know, these are sort of some of the platforms that you see here. So the enterprise portals, a lot of companies are deploying something like SharePoint, 
or moving to something like SharePoint Online, which is a cloud-based platform for a portal. And then on the other end, you know, developers are using lots of different tools. And so, you know, they're trying to figure out how to integrate this stuff with a central identity system where you might not be building on some kind of integrated stack. So, you know, one of the things we recommend is seeming together your B2B portal, you know, using best of breed components, like use Jatter for collaboration or Jive for your help desk. Build some, on, build some components yourself as well and tie all this together using a lightweight entry point and a lightweight portal. So this allows you flexibility so that way you don't have to deploy like an entire Microsoft stack in order to have external users collaborate on SharePoint or something like that. Um, connecting back to on-prem apps, it's also important to integrate to a VPN. And so that's kind of something else that people think about, either that being either through Radius or with an SSL VPN. And the result of this, you know, is basically what looks like a very, you know, seamless user experience. This is the Informatica website that uses an identity service from Okta on the back end. And, you know, you can go to Okta, Okta you can go to Informatica's online product, you can go to their marketplace, their community, or support page, and it's all integrated at all a single sign-on and single identity. And this is a company that also is kind of building a custom uh, custom experience and using solving this identity problem. So those are kind of examples of that one. Now, if we look at the developer kind of scenario, this is the problem that a developer today is facing. If you're building an application and you're trying to get users from different companies into that application, this is a complex picture. And you can look at this and say, on the product end, they've got their multi-tenant SaaS, they've got some dedicated instance stuff, they may have a single instance that is a shared experience for different customers. And then on the authentication side, they have individual users. They've got to issue individual usernames and passwords, secure and manage those passwords, connect to companies that have a SAML IDP, that have some kind of identity system and want to SSO in, or connect to companies that don't have an IDP and they just have an active directory or some kind of directory, allowing those companies to easily get into their app as well. So there's complexity on the application side and on the user authentication side. And the blue pieces in the middle are all the things that they need to build. So they need to think about, you know, how do I get these users to be able to SSO? How do I support SSO in my own app? How do I, you know, create a seamless experience into these different fragmented pieces of my app? And so it's a pretty complex picture and it's a lot of stuff for them to deploy and maintain. What they're really looking for is a single experience for each of their customers. They don't want a customer to see these different components of their app. They want a single customer set of data and UX and have that totally abstracted for the customer. And at the same time, they want all this simplified and there's a way to do all of this in the cloud so that they don't have to build all these components themselves through an identity layer type of solution that provides the directory, inbound federation, single sign-on provisioning across all of this and a lightweight way to connect into the directories of these customers that don't have a SAML IDP. So examples of this on the consumer side, this is uh, Rotary International. And so they're, they're using a cloud-based identity system from, from Okta to store usernames and passwords for their site. And Advent is a customer which we just did a press release on, and they've got this heterogeneous environment. So Advent is a software company that sells software to financial services companies. And they've traditionally sold this software on-prem, but now they've built out an online, on-demand experience. And this integrates that experience across all of their different products in their portfolio. Thanks a lot for your time.